Hey people, welcome to this 2 is. And uh, before I go on any further, I want to thank all my subscribers, all the people that subscribed so far. Thank you all. And I'm still on that push, trying to get to that 1,000 subscriber mark. And when I do, I'm going to go ahead and um, do that giveaway that I told you guys about. And I'm going to do um, the toolbox tour on, on um, this cart right here. On my Milwaukee box over there. And on my Husky box back there. So all those three will be coming up in the near future. And in the meantime, I'll have some other um, videos coming out. But um, this tool box, I mean, this tool card right here is the one that I showed you guys on my last video. It was still inside the box. So I went ahead and put it together since then. I didn't think you guys wanted to see a video of me putting the um, card together. So I didn't record it. I did take a few pictures of it. I'll probably put those up later as I was going along. But, um, you know, it was basic stuff that um, it's already a whole bunch of videos on that out there. So I didn't bother making a video on it. But this one right here is not the um, U.S. General tool cart that everybody mostly has. This is the Husky, the four-round drawer tool cart. And, um, yeah, the, basically the only difference is this one has a little pegboard right here on this side. And um, they didn't have the one that comes with the side tray. So I got this one. So I'm trying to get a side tray right now. And I don't think that Husky sells the side tray by itself. I think it only comes when you buy it with the tool cart. So I guess I'm going to have to go the U.S. General route and get one from Harbor Freight. So this, this box right here is actually longer than the Harbor Freight ones. It's, um, this one is 33 inches in length and in depth, I believe it's um, 20 or 22 inches, somewhere around there. I, I'm not sure, but I know that the length is 33. So I need to figure out if um, I need to get the, uh, the side tray, the one that's for the four drawer tool cart or for the five drawer tool cart. I need to know, um, you know, which, which depth is the one that will fit fit it the best because um it's a big difference be between the two um side trays i went to the store the other day but they didn't have black so that's why i didn't buy it but i'm thinking it's gonna be the one for the five drawer that's gonna fit this one but if anybody knows please put it down in the comments and tell me which one is the one that uh fit this this one here but just real quick i just i'll just show it show you what i've done so far Oh, I'm not done putting it uh, putting it together yet as far as the way my tools are going to stay on here. But so far, I've already transferred a few things over. You know, a few screwdrivers, some sockets. The, I got impacts up here on the top. And some more screwdrivers over here on this side. Some um, pry bars, uh, some stubbies, some... Um, um, wrenches right here and just you know all kind of stuff in that drawer and organized a little bit not exactly um all the way yet but that's what i have so far i don't know like i said i don't know if it's gonna remain this way but for right now that that's the way i have it and here i got some more of those um sockets my chrome ones some extensions and stuff right here in this tray in the middle and some punches and stuff and and down there i just got some stuff for right now nothing is set in stone yet nothing is um permanent it's just for right now but anyhow yeah i'm gonna put the side tray on this side the side trail go on this side. And I got another set of screwdrivers down here. But um I went ahead and picked these up right here. These are a, a 10 piece 3/8 inch dry thin wall deep impact socket set is the metric. And it's um size 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So it's skipping a few sizes. It's skipping the 11 and the 14. 
between 8 and 18 so it's skipping two sizes and then it also has that little um adapter right there for the impact drive and then it just says um it's black oxide finish deep socket design chrome molly impact grade steel slim design dual mark sockets designed to work with a quarter inch impact driver and there's the number for that one so I got this because I, I wanted some thin wall um, impact sockets. I, I have some 3.8 impact sockets, but I didn't have any thin wall ones. So I went ahead and picked those up. I got some swivels right here for the half inch and some for the 3.8. Or, yeah. And then I also picked this up. Oh, right now at Lowe's, they have this um, die grinder right here down to $39.99 people so if you guys are in the market for a die grinder I would say go ahead and check out your lows this is the same one that they had on sale for the last six months they had it for $99 for like six months but I guess nobody was really purchasing it so they finally decided to go ahead and clearance it out and at most stores they have it right now for um $39.99 so we're gonna go ahead and look at it I already opened it, that way I don't take up all day long. Let me see, here's the number for this one. 1332914. Let me see if there's anything it says here. It just says LED work light and after glow illuminate work. Quarter inch collet, brushless motor, three speed setting, lock on slide switch, small diameter handle and body. And pretty much just straight to the point, it just has the little wrench to change the, um, the bits, it has the instructions. And then, Here's the actual um, die grinder. And it has the lights right here in the front. I think, yeah, it's three lights right here, LED lights in the front. Then right here on the top, it has the lock. So you could lock the collet as you're changing the uh, bit. And then here's the, uh, this is what you press down. So basically you press it down and push it forward. Oh, I can't really do it one. Let me see, let me try with the other hand. So there it is, that's how you lock it in. And then it'll be spinning, then you just take it off. So let me see if I could get a battery on it. So there's the light. So it's not a paddle switch or anything, it's just this little switch right here. Just says press. So you press it and slide it up. And then it locks in place. And then right here and right here on the bottom, that's where it has the um, setting for the speed. And I don't know if you can see right there, but it's 10,000, 17,500, and 25,000 RPMs. So you just set it wherever you want to the speed you want it at, three different speeds. And like I said, it's pretty much um, straight to the point. I don't have any bits on it, so I can't really show it to you guys in action yet. But if you guys are really interested in me showing it, just put it down in the comments and I'll um, get some bits and I'll, sh and I'll make a video on it. But I'm sure that you guys already know how this, this thing here works, at least most of you guys. But anyhow, oh, another question that I had, is this um three tool um, holder right here that I have. And right now I just got this the impact driver, the the drill, and this three eight um right angle impact wrench. And I was wondering um oh and I, I, I put this um this is that liner from the tool cart. I actually had to buy this separate but I put it on here because these edges these edges from the hose where the tool goes they were really sharp, so every time I was I would put my drill in there, 
it would be scraping it and scraping it. So I decided to go ahead and add this little piece right here. And I put it with some adhesive, some spray adhesive. See if that'll hold it. And um, just to uh, um, stop it from scraping it so fast. But anyhow, yeah, it's, it's just this. It's just this material right here. I just um, added it on there with some adhesive. But anyway, I wanted to know what do you guys think? How should I add it onto the cart? I'm gonna more than likely put it on this side, probably down here, somewhere down here. So I don't know if I should drill some holes into the side of the cart and screw it on there, or if I should add some magnets to it. I don't know if any, if the magnet strip will, will be um, strong enough to hold it on its own. What do you guys think? Because um, right now I got one on there. I got a, I got one magnet strip on here just to see how it would look. But I would probably add another one the opposite way, screw them together, and see if that would be strong enough to hold it on to, uh, to the side of the tool cart. But if not, I'm going to probably have to screw it in. I think there's a few uh, videos on other people who have it. And if I'm not mistaken, everybody has screwed it on. I don't think anybody has used just the magnets on it. Um, but uh, you guys could give me some ideas. I would appreciate that. And um, yeah, so that's all I have for you guys right now. I just wanted to pretty much tell you guys about this um, deal on this die grinder. I figure for 40 bucks, you can't go wrong. So if anybody's interested in that, I would suggest you um, hit up your lows and see if they um, have it in stock. So, um, uh, that's all I got for you right now. So keep on doing what you do. Don't let nobody say you can't do anything. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys on the next go around. Bye. And with that being said, people, if you like talking about tools, go ahead and subscribe to the channel.